Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, can we depend on the religious experiences of people? As someone pointed out to me, there have definitely been instances where certain people have had religious experiences and they've been misleading and or not authentic. Someone might have a vision telling them to commit some horrible sin, and those kinds of experiences aren't reliable. There are also many other things that can cause people to have hallucinations or dreams or brain sicknesses, which can cause them to think that things are happening to them, which really aren't. As the commenter said, verification is important before taking action. We should verify as far as it's within our power, like St. John said, test the spirits, However, once you've gathered as much information on the experience as you can, the fact that you had an experience should be considered valid evidence. When the evidence points to me having a personal experience of God, I should trust that evidence, unless there's a good reason not to. Remember, just because we must subject our evidence to testing doesn't mean it's not valid evidence. There are, of course, many possible reasons why you might distrust the evidence of your own experiences. Maybe you were drunk, or only half conscious, or had some kind of horrible brain injury that might have impaired your senses. However, when you don't have reasons like these to doubt your senses, you should believe what they tell you just because that's where the evidence is pointing. But what about situations where people are ordered to commit murder through some vision? What about suicide bombers? Are those kinds of religious experiences doubtful just based on what they command? Well, firstly, very few suicide bombers are known to have had actual religious experiences of the sort we're talking about. Mostly with them, it's more cultural and religious indoctrination by their fellow man that's the problem, tempting them to do evil through social pressure or faulty reasoning. But suppose for a moment that one of them did have an experience of some sort, inspiring them to commit this horrible act. The suicide bomber believes that he'll please God by throwing away the life that God has given him and doing the same to others. This is incoherent because life is a good thing and God is the ultimate goodness. The source of all goodness doesn't want us to destroy good things or violate the most basic rights of others. The same simple logic applies to the murderer. These things are a result of moral and intellectual ignorance rather than trust in the validity of experience as proof. It would also be a mistake to blame the evidence of experience for the free choices of anyone, just as it would be a mistake to blame grapes because some people are alcoholics, or cars because some people practice road rage, or ski masks because some people rob banks while wearing them. Clearly, the fault is not with the experiential proof, but with the individuals doing evil through it. They're responsible for their own evil actions and choices. Next, can our experiences really prove anything? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.